demands from the Spanish Motorcycling Federation. The financial demands are unacceptable, said Ariel, head, uh, ahead of today's second stage at Chateau Latour near Narbonne, deep in southern France. We're ready to pay our due, but not at any price. The race is due to cross into Spain tomorrow before transferring to Morocco. Well, the second stage happened a little earlier today. 35 kilometers, a special stage from Narbonne to Castile. Let's take a look at how things went today. Bad just got worse. Punctures. Overheating. Broken axles. Wrong directions. Collisions. Exclusive to Supersport, the Paris Dakar Rally is proudly sponsored by Total Quartz Lubricants. Second day. The second day of the Dakar kicks off with uh, just a few clips from the first day's stage that took place at La Charge. The majority of the teams rode the man-made bumps very well, but a massive problem was to befall the Russian truck crews of number 428 and 429. Indeed, number 428 had to come to the help of number 429, the two Kamaz machines helping each other after 428 was having a transmission problem. Not a good day, and not a good way to start Dakar 2001 for the Kamaz team. Meanwhile, elsewhere on the road sections, most of France was out on New Year's Day. Payage at Toulouse. Well, they didn't have to pay a single franc to go through. And some terrible bad luck befell the number 65 motorbike rider, Gilles Hamonique, the Frenchman who arrived at the ramp to ask the commentator in front of the big crowd that had amassed there if anybody could help him with his Honda, because the engine had broken together with the clutch having a massive problem. Ironically, there was a local Honda dealer in the crowd and he helped Gilles out. He said, I had a problem with the bike and the commentator asked the crowd for help after the engine broke. Now we've come here to the workshop and they managed to replace the clutch and help me with the broken engine. Ironically, there are only four of these engines in France and this local Honda dealer had one of them. There's some luck for you. So day two of Dakar 2001 sees us leave France from the overnight halt in Narbonne to the stage just a few kilometers outside of Narbonne at Chateau Las Tours. It's a place where the World Rally Championship teams regularly test their cars before the long drive down south into Spain. The motorbikes were first off at Chateau Las Tours this morning and this is Britain's John Deacon on the works BMW machine. He went literally 10 meters into the stage on the number six flat twin BMW and as you can see absolutely stopped dead he tried to roll back out of the stage down the hill bump starting the machine there it failed to 
bark into life and John was left with a very, very long wait to try and get the machine back into the stage. He eventually lost 30 minutes after he traced an electrical fault. So terrible, terrible start for Cornwall's John Deacon. A lot of other riders having some slippery and sometimes horizontal moments on the stage. problems at all with the KTM up on the top of the hill with the wind farm on the outskirts of Narbonne. Richard Sanks came out of the stage to be fastest by a massive 58 seconds which in a stage which lasted only for him at least 31 minutes and 25 seconds is a very very big margin indeed. Second on day two in the stage was the BMW of Juan Roma. The sun rose over the top hills. Roma said it was quite difficult with the bike sliding around quite a lot but he felt very comfortable on the machine and was looking forward to getting into Africa and Morocco. Third today the Finn Kari Tynan, he on the KTM going through the fog which was actually to cause quite a few problems for a few people with regards to losing time that is. So number seven Tynanen, he was third. Giovanni Sala on the other KTM, he was just a couple of seconds back of Juan Roma. And then number 14, the American Jimmy Campbell being the leading Honda, even though he fell on this slippery right-hander. Fortunately, the machine did not stall and he continued on. So Jimmy Campbell after his fifth, sixth, sorry, yesterday, his fifth on the stage today. But the big shout out must go to Christoph Melia. He, on another Honda, similar to that of Jimmy Campbell, he was 10th today for a start number of 87. So there's the rundown of the stage at Chateau Lastour, which had sank 56 seconds ahead of the KTM KTM the Honda. That's the overall standings after two stages on Dakar 2001. The wires under the fuel tank were broken, you know. At the beginning? Oh. Yeah, I do two meters and it stops into the special, so, and it's, two wires are broken under the tank. And there's no spark, no electrics. <laughs> what did you do then? It changed and repaired it, but it took me 30 minutes to find it, you know, the problem, because... So I'm really pissed off now, you know. It's a really bad way to start, eh? It's not good for... The ground was stony and a little slippery, but at least it let us know that our bike is good. And it was really a good testing stage for the brakes. And it was pleasant, an enjoyable stage with many people cheering us along our way. It was a very, very nice stage, really, really nice. Um, I remember in 98 it was the same, but more stones in 98. Now it was. Uh, I think with the with the wet, good traction, but uh, you know, I think for me, I'm not so good in the very tight stuff. I go as fast as I can, and we hope to see what position. Uh, I have to see what happens, and I think going into Morocco would be better to start behind a little bit, 
and hopefully it's going to work for me. You all are waiting for Morocco. We're all waiting for Morocco, yeah. It's a real beginning of the rally. Yeah, because it's uh, it's very physical in Morocco, and uh, I think if you are very fast in Morocco in the stones, you can make a lot of time because it's it is quite dangerous. Everybody knows, and uh, it's the place I think to have a small gap when you go into Mauritania. Well, after the two-wheeled machines, the four-wheeled cars came through. Only after the spectators had enjoyed the 2nd of January kicking off on the top of a mountain. Jean-Louis Schlesser looking for a hat-trick on the Dakar in 2001 after his two wins. He went through the stage to be fastest, 11 seconds ahead of the rest, of course, in his buggy. Second place on the second stage of the Dakar was Hiro Mashuoka with his Mitsubishi. He did a time of 30 minutes and 44 seconds. So relative to the motorcycles, the cars quite closely matched. Gregoire de Mavius with his Nissan. He finished up on the stage seventh today to put Gregoire sixth overall in the standings after two stages. Nissan number 209 getting to grips with the slippery stage, but at least he was running a little bit after the early runners, so the fog had lifted just a little at least. And the sister machine of Terry de la Verne. He was also going fine on the stage, said it was a fantastic series of corners, a few tricky ones that were slightly off camber, but uh, they lost a little time when they caught up one of the Kias. Jean-Pierre Fontenay, Mitsubishi number 201. Fontenay was eight, and complimenting the great number of spectators out on the stage, he did his best to entertain them, and German knees Jutta Kleinschmidt in the Mitsubishi number 205. She took a great deal of care, didn't want to do anything silly before she got into Africa. Plus, she said that the car needed a few more setup changes. It was handling a little strange over the jumps. Bravo, Jutta! So, a rundown of what happened on today's stage. Slesser. 11 seconds ahead of, ahead of Mashuoka, Shinazuka, Servia and Souza. Just over one minute behind the Frenchman. The stage was exactly the same as one of the Portuguese Baja stages that I do back home, so uh, I was quite happy with it, and it feels good with the car and how it is set up at the moment. Day three of Dakar 2001 sees us go from the middle of Spain nearly to the bottom, from Castellón to Almeria. A short road section of five kilometers before a special stage of just six, and then a big, long road section all the way down south, down the water route to Almeria before they get on the boat.
Spain greeted the crews, but not for long. We look forward to day three of Dakar 2001. Just got worse. Punctures, overheating, broken axles, wrong directions, collisions. Exclusive to Supersport. The